Are we at a different angle today? The camera's higher. Yeah, it is higher. It's like looking down at us. Brandon, you were just on a show for an hour with this camera. I didn't notice it at all. I, I just you noticed You fluffed it. your hair, too. Oh, my hair's always You fluffed. poofed it. I didn't poof it. Uh, what's up? It's me, Brandon, Sass, Owen. The A-team. Where's Rome? <laughs> uh, he was in... Where was he? Oh, uh, you Charleston. still sick? Charleston. Um, a little bit. I'm getting my voice back. You've been sick for a while. I'm yeah, worried. Well, poor. I mean, I fully lost my voice, so it, apparently it takes like a week to fully come back. The concert was that rocking? Oh yeah. Fuck yes. Was it worth it? No. What do you mean? I like. That's an early yawn on the show, man. I'm tired. <laughs> yeah. It was. Uh. No. I mean, I lost my voice completely. I, I think it sounds pretty normal now. It's yeah, not bad. Back. A little raspy. There's a little strain there. If anything, the end. it's a little sexy now. Mm -hmm. Um. What's in the news, guys? Nothing much. Besides canceling Business Insider. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking fuck those guys. It is crazy right now. I was talking to Dave this morning. Uh, it's just like all these people really, really want to take us down and just end Barstool. And they, it's a big company with a bunch of people and they want everyone to lose their job. And uh, it's a game to them. It's fucking bizarre. I hate I hate it so much. They're such losers, and they basically, uh, they're just doing this for fun. So, fuck them. I don't fuck think they're doing it them. for fun. I think it like, drives their life now. No, well, I think there's some fun in it to them. Like, they mm. just want to scalp. They want they want to be like, hey, we got these guys canceled. We ended their company. We we basically went around. Like, the the idea that Dave, Dave was explaining to me that they're now, like, going and emailing all of our advertisers and then trying to write another article that's like, look at all the advertisers that stuck with them and shaming them. It's like, what do, what, do, what are these pe These people are so fucking, like, deranged. I've, like, uh, haven't been reading a lot of it, but one of the weirdest things I saw was somebody DM'd them and was like, if you don't respond to this DM by noon, it'll be, like, an official no comment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that allowed? I, I, that seems wild. They're all just so, like, it's just insane that they all pretend that, like, they're doing incredible journalism when it's so clearly biased and they won't admit that the bias is there and they just go around and just trying to it's it just blows my mind it blows my mind i don't want to get su super into it um sass i did notice that you didn't tweet about how honest dave was on thursday mm -hmm. i did not know <laughs> that was weird that was, was, that was a bad that was a bad move either. by us really everyone really do weird. it at the exact same time that i was early on the honesty eh, train i was like third eh, Mine did numbies. That made my skin crawl. It was bad. Yeah. yeah. It was it was admittedly a bad move. We were on like the it. train coming back from Boston and we every five minutes we were like, Oh blah 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 dropped. Yeah. Yeah. Marty dropped. Everyone was just like it, it was it was, was very it was just mind. one after another. And people legitimately like were asking me, like people that I'm friends with, and they were like, "Was this, is this like a script? Like when yeah. you guys sent this?" Was and I was like checking my email to see if we got a script because <laughs> I not. was like, "This is crazy." I I be, I just tweeted this. Is yeah, Dave. yeah. Here's I saw Dave's video. Tweet, yeah. Let Dave explain himself because it's about it's a story about Dave. Yeah, like, you know what I mean. It's a, it's a story about Dave's private. Well, that's also something that sucks is that it's like. Do you like it, it's a, only about Dave, and I feel like there's no reason for us to get involved in it if it's only about Dave. I mean, well, then now they're on this, but then though. it becomes they're, they're all about Barstool. And and they hate Stoolies so much. They hate anyone who's a fan of Barstool. They think you're like the lowest scumbags in the world, and they think that you have no brain and no ability to like think for yourself and be like, hey, these guys make me laugh. I'm going to consume their content. Yeah. So they hate you. They hate you. Just remember that they absolutely hate you. Um, and they cast you all as the same exact person, which is crazy. It's just the most hypocritical shit ever. They're all hypocrites through and through who are just bad people, and then they pretend that they're good people, and because it's socially accepted in their little clique, everyone just swarms to it. It's like, oh, well, they're right, and everyone else is wrong. Fuck all of them. But yes, that was a bad look by us. Should yeah. we call them? Who? Business Insider. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing too is I suck at fighting online. I hate fighting on Twitter. It always just bums me out. So I I, I didn't really say much because I just I can't do it. Like I can't. It, it will. It sucks up. It would suck up my entire weekend. It was the first weekend I wasn't traveling. Like it would have just consumed me every second. Instead, it's like just leave it alone and you know talk about it on Monday and not tweet how honest Dave is 
like I also Brandon trying to get a, a raise. No, that's well, a little bit of that. Yeah, there was <laughs> definitely a little bit of that. Yeah. No, it's probably a lot of it. But I honestly, I, I it, there's a part of me that it's also you got everyone came across, and I, I I'm not saying Dave is this, but everyone came across as like the interview they do. With the serial killer's next door neighbor, oh, they yeah. did. But I, <laughs> I'm just not really. I'm just not really. Nah, he's, he's fucking. Oh, yeah, he had so much potential. He always brought out his trash. <laughs> I, I, he, I, he was the <laughs> happiest kid. Yeah. I think mine came the from a place of. Kid. Mine came from a place where like like Dave has done a lot for me and everything. Yeah, no, and I'm he here. Has. He's done a lot and for I, everyone. And, 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 and I do believe in him. Like like yes. I wasn't I wasn't yes. lying when I said that. I yes. do believe in him. Yes. I do believe him. So I wanted to say that. I want to put it out. But when you put it out, it looks corporate. It looks it looks dishonest it looks you know like you're just trying to be on the team but i meant what i said Look, like no one i do believe in dave i no, believe in the fact that he's not he's right it was very funny that everyone did that exact same time because listen no one i think that's actually the beauty of barstool no one is ever going to confuse us for mensa we're not the smartest but <laughs> right we are not <laughs> well i mean like, but that's at why a people point, like us at a certain point it's like i feel like including me like there's no reason for you it's like i don't know dave Right. There's no reason for me to say anything. Mm-hmm. Like Dugs was tweeting out about it. It's like, come on. That was funny. Like, yeah. what are we doing yeah. here? That was funny. <laughs> like, but it, it was and funny. not just him. It was like a yeah. hundred other people. Yeah. Like, and initially, who have never even spoke to Dave. Before. And I get like why he did it. Yeah. Because I think there was a pressure to do it. Yeah. But it. Yeah. It would have just been. But now sincere st- for someone. Yeah. Like now, us to tweet now the about story it. has shifted where they're basically trying to end this company. It's crazy. It's just. It's fucking nuts. Yeah. Drives it's weird. Insane. It's so, so bizarre that they spend this much time obsessing over everything we do. It's not working, is it? Uh, I, I don't know. I don't think so. Good. Um, but, yeah, that was our update from the weekend. What else? So, Sass, were you guys here on Friday? No. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You were still out? No, we no, were here. Oh, you were here. Okay. How'd that go? It was fine. Uh, and I, I literally. Yeah. You had yeah. no voice. I, I watched it. I had no it. voice at all. But I came no in voice. anyway. You're a fucking warrior. How was the live show in Boston? The f- show was very fun. The first one was really good. How many yeah. Yeah. couldn't have gone better? Probably one. I think uh, we slimmed it down. Oh, this that's time. not mm-hmm. great. Yeah, what do you? Yeah, I don't know why we didn't do many Viva chants this time. I like to picture you guys backstage, about to go on, pumping each other up, and the crowd is just chanting "Viva," <laughs> and you're not going out until this is at a fever pitch. No, we, uh, <laughs> backstage was more us just being like, "Dude, this was a huge fucking mistake. Like, we shouldn't be here. <laughs> <laughs> There's way too many people here." It you did two shows on the same night? Out. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't do that again. No. Uh, Which one's better, the first or the second? S- the first one by far. I, I mean, think just I, I think, think just two shows first back to back crowd. nights would be better. Yeah, definitely. On the second one, are you trying? Do you find yourself like trying to repeat jokes that succeeded on the first show? Yeah. No. Yeah. Sass was set Sass it was, up. Do you like set it up though? Because that's the part that's that's always. I was like, wa- I, I got like way too fucked up before the second show. Yeah, you kind of embarrassed myself. How much time was in between the shows? Like not 15 a lot, minutes. Not a lot of time. <laughs> you embarrass yeah. yourself? No, but it, it definitely takes like Sunday scaries to a whole new level when like you're like wake up the next morning you're like, oh, what I was just out in front of like 400 people. I don't think the second show was bad. It was just very different than the first different one. Different energy? The first one was more like uh, well-written jokes and stuff, and then the second one was a lot of sass crowd work. <laughs> Hell yeah. The first one couldn't have gone better in my opinion. Like it was perfect. Yes, you and the crowd and the anything? crowd was you great. You them or no? Oh uh, yeah, we wrote a bunch of stuff. Oh really? Yeah. Oh. Well, I mean, we wrote like op- we wrote mostly our opening because I I thought we all agreed that like our main takeaway from the show at Lucky Jack's was like we kind of came out and like didn't know how to start it. Right. Mm-hmm. So this one it was just like we had like ten minutes of like shit to talk about. Like in the Boston beginning. stuff. Yeah. yeah. And then it just like warmed everybody up. What was this crowd work like? In the second one? Yeah. It would be like uh, someone um, would say something, and then I would just say, security, come get this person. And I'd be like, <laughs> I probably made, but I probably like made that times. joke like <laughs> good, over a hundred times. But then it becomes funny again. No, it became Like, it's annoying. funny, keep going, keep and going, then keep it's going. lame, then you get the return on funny. No, that is yeah. what happened. After like the 50th The time, second show yeah. was like hilarious how fucked up everyone was, and then in the middle you're like, oh. But then it got very funny. What yeah, happened yeah. between shows? Party. I mean, I, I got pretty like fucked up. By the end of the second, uh, by the end of the first show. Oh, you guys were drinking while you were doing the first. Yeah, show. Oh. and then the second show came around, and I, and I like already was losing my voice. So we just put a twenty-year-old on stage, and hey, yeah. you don't have to say that out loud. Oh, Way man, to dox him, bro. You know, business insiders listening to this. Fuck, right listening to everything we do now. It's true. I one last thing about that: the business insider. I it is. I know that people like say that conspiracy theories have become too commonplace. 
But it's very funny to me that everyone who hates Barstool thinks they're speaking truth to power by taking down Dave Portnoy when, like, the people who actually are pulling the strings behind these kind of pieces are, like, Wall Street guys who are actually powerful. Yeah. And, yeah. like, running the world. Mm -hmm. And well, they're the basically the like ones who, be, who, who, who pull all the strings and have the real power and... Like you're going, you're just misdirecting everything. It's also very hypocritical, and people are like, "Oh, like Dave, blah blah blah." It's like anywhere you go, like I don't know. Never mind. Scratch no, it. you got Good it. Good point, Sass. No, like there's it. people that work places who like people like, at are NBC sketchy, don't yeah. have to answer for Matt Lauer. No, right. you know exactly. I mean? It's the same Correct. thing. Correct. Not that those are What's one to Matt one Lauer comparisons, <laughs> but no, no. Yeah, I know what you mean. What's Matt Lauer up to? He's probably oh, like, he lives a good life. Yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah, Steven, Dude, he's a freak though. Stephen, what was your biggest takeaway from NFL Week Nine? Everyone sucks. Are you happy the the Bucks were able to stay away from the death and destruction of this weekend? Yeah, moved up in the standings just by not doing anything. It was awesome. Wow. You excited about tonight? Are, are you going to Pittsburgh? I'm going to, Jersey yeah, Jerry? yeah, yeah. We're going to Pittsburgh. How do you in, feel? Uh, an hour. Good. I feel good. I mean, the Bears are going to lose, tired? but I feel good. I'm very tired, but the Bears are going to lose. But I'm good. I feel good. What time did you record PMT last night? Yeah. What time do you guys finish? Like two. Damn. I was actually. You thinking said it about was gonna that. be early. <laughs> you gonna sleep know, on the plane? That's late. brutal. Uh, probably not. I was thinking about that last night because I was up till like three, and I was like, I wonder if Big Cat's still at work right now. Yeah, I was driving home. Yeah, that's crazy. Hero. I was watching Moneyball. Good oh, ass movie. Yeah. dude, I read that book. I'd never seen the movie before. Really? Owen's. That's actually how Owen got famous on the show. <laughs> I said it was my favorite movie. And and he it was watched really it fucking good. Times. One of those movies where it just sucked me in, like, right off the bat. Mm -hmm. And I was You're like, not even a seam head. <clears throat> no. And I was going <laughs> <laughs> I was going into it being like, I'm gonna fall I'm gonna watch this movie and fall asleep while watching it. Didn't. It Didn't really, it, whoa, right in its face. <laughs> you through. showed you showed Moneyball so who's boss. It yeah. is crazy. That book should not have a good movie. I Why not? That, not like that book is is kind of boring I, and informational. I've, I, I think I've said, and the movie's before, good. But yeah, I have read if, the book. It's way more just like analytical. Right. Yeah, if yeah. you ever want a life hack on being considered like smart in some circles, just read every book that Michael Lewis has mm -hmm. and that ever comes out, because there's like a ninety percent chance it becomes a movie. Yeah. yeah, and it'll be like a runner up for an Oscar. Yeah, right. And it everyone won't be like, win, look, but this it'll movie. Be a Did he write the he, fucking Blind Side? He wrote the Blind Side. He wrote Moneyball. He wrote the Big Short. Mm -hmm. I think there's big another short, one that's coming good. out soon. The but well, the book you mean. No. Oh, the book was great. Yeah, see boomerang. what I did there? See what I just did there? <laughs> yeah. Perza Boomerang. Yeah. Um, boomerang. boomerang. Is that coming out as a movie? Uh, I think so. All right, well, I gotta. I, I don't waste time reading books that aren't going to eventually become movies. Because <laughs> the whole point of reading the book is so that you can tell people you read the book when they see the movie. And be like, oh, you're just finding out about the big short? I read the book. Yeah. No, I took that. I have like five of them on my desk. It's great. One day I'd spend like $200 at Barnes & Noble. Yeah, yeah. Got now you're gonna be you're, yeah. you are officially the Michael oh, Lewis you're, section. I have, you're Michael, ahead of the I have curve. like five Michael Lewis, five Michael Gla Malcolm Gladwell, which I'll never read. Yeah, and then I got a bunch of classics. I have like a Catcher in the Rye on my nightstand. Malcolm <laughs> Gladwell is uh, that guy has figured out life. He's basically figured out a way to be sound like smart to dumb people. He's not. I don't think he's that smart. Like I think he's just found a way to mm -hmm. explain. Difficult concepts to dumb people to make him seem smart. Oh, like yeah. smart people that I know are like Malcolm Gladwell. Like he's it's like fake fake like experiments he does. Yeah, when fake, they like explained to like studies. PPR loans with like seafood stew. Yeah, right. I I'm like, he was oh, the fuck, smartest dude, person in the world. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. so dope. Like now I get it. Yeah. <laughs> like you're really smart. Mm -hmm. Was that in the Big Short? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that is it Margot Robbie or Kate Upton that's in it? Margot, Margot Robbie. 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 Yeah, she's in like a bubble bath. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and you finally like, oh man, finally get it, finally get it. Is Kate Upton in any movies? Yeah. Yeah, she's in that movie with uh, fuck. What's the heist? <laughs> Adam, Adam Sandler. What's Money the heist, heist movie? Yeah, Adam Sandler, right? Isn't he? Cameron Diaz. Is that yeah. Oh, fifth no. Tower 40. heist. Tower heist. She's in Tower heist for like ten seconds. Is she? What is she in? Uh, Adam Sandler's like Forty First uh, Dates, Fifty for No. That's Fifty First Dates. No. That's the ET girl. This is good shit. This is good, good shit. You remember her cat daddy? I'm trying to remember, yeah. Do you that why? shit was awesome. Changed my life. Something Reese Witherspoon had a moment. Something I was thinking about. Yeah, Legally Blonde, dude. I meant to tweet this. What are the bet? Th I feel like there are like three really, really good opening movie scenes 
like uh, ever. We've had this conversation on. I think this we, we have? had this conversation when it was like my first week on. I'd the like app. to have it again. So. I'd like to have yeah, it again. I remember because I said again. American Psycho. What are the three yeah, that you I think, think you were the only one who gave an Heat. answer? Oh. With De Niro and Pacino. Okay. Last the, Boy Scout. The, the che- Joker. That's the last Joker Boy Batman, Scout. Dark Knight. But that's and, such uh, a Last Boy Scout. So many movies. Toy Story three openings. Toy Story three. Really? Last Boy Scout. Okay. No one. American Psycho. Can you pull Knight. up Last Boy Scout? Can we play clips or no? The Departed no. is like the best intro to any movie. Last ever. Boy Scout, he, he literally he's they're playing good, a football game in, in the in the in the rain. Like every like most good movies. No, that, that, that no. wasn't the opening, was it? Yeah, was. That was the opening. Yeah, Goodfellas. I'm pretty is sure great. that's the opening list where he's running down the sidelines. He's running down the Last Boy Scout. They're running. They're playing in like a torrential downpour. Yeah, and I don't this know running what that back keeps. Is. Bruce keeps Willis get, getting like tackled, and then he takes out a fucking gun and just shoots the linebacker mm-hmm. before he can tackle. Yeah, oh, that's wow. sick. it's the best yeah. stiff arm ever. It's that based on a true story. Well, I would say uh, The Departed. I haven't seen The Departed. You haven't seen The Departed? That's what I said. That's like the best movie ever. It's not the best movie ever. It is. But the Departed is not the best movie ever. It's one of the best Top movies 10. in the last twenty years. <coughs> Didn't it's, it win Best Picture? I don't think so. It is ridiculously good. I watch it for you. How, watch it for yourself. How watch many minutes in is the chalkboard scene in Goodwill Hunting? Oh, oh it's that's about like not ten? like ten minutes in. Yeah, uh, Best Picture, two thousand seven. The off. opening of Goodwill Hunting is is boring. What is it? I forget. I think he's just like mopping or something, uh, or they're like a bar. Huh, huh, huh. But the Departed huh. opening huh. is great. White Man Can't Jump. Now that's a good movie with a good opening. Just a 25-minute basketball scene right off the start. It's <laughs> <laughs> a good. It's, it, it is. It's good. It's the best part. If it gets, if I, if I start watching that movie past the first 25 minutes, I'm out. Is it like good basketball? It's fine. It's it's. The, I think there's. You see two basketball plays, and mo- it's mostly yeah. just shit talk. Didn't Wesley Snipes stick have to around learn for the Rosie Perez? Uh, Wesley Snipes oh, couldn't you play basketball. horny motherfucker, Steven. Oh, that's right. The you, titties. You love the titties. I rewatched. Uh, they are good titties in that movie. Friday Night Lights, the show, Careful. a couple of years ago. I can't, insiders we can't talk titties now? No, they're listening. No, no titties. <laughs> um, Only male titties. I'm out. But the football in that TV show is crazy. Which one? Friday Night Lights. The movie? The TV show. Or the book? The book. <laughs> I know the book. <laughs> I know the book. I, I've read the book. I've read the book. But like well. every play is a 120-yard flea flicker. Who wrote yes. the book? Like Buzz Bissinger, idiot. Is he Is he a woman now? I don't... I d- he did something. Okay, this is Business Insider. Please I can't stop talk watching. now. I can't talk. Steve, please stop watching. Okay. I just asked if he's a woman. He, a woman? he did something. Is he one of the women? <laughs> 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 what? Reminder, upvote the stream. Upvote the stream. Upvote the stream. Oh, Do we have any women's? ugly no, sweaters he got a, coming out? He, we need those upvotes these days. Yeah, he got, um, <laughs> Buzz Bissinger got a, I read that article, he got addicted to buying leather uh, clothes online. Oh, okay. He uh, had like a hundred and fifty thousand dollars of leather clothes that he had bought. Why online? I, I feel like just bu- would I feel buy like a I bunch see of leather. That's the question. Why leather? Because leather? why would you like? I could do like, oh, you're in person, and you're like, oh, wow, this looks cool. I don't know. Feels maybe, good. I don't know. Maybe he online. also bought in person, but bet, he just had a shitload of leather. I bet leather looks good online. Pants, jackets, boots. Leather looks good in person. Leather's good. I would never fuck with leather because I respect no. animals. Neither would I. I, I don't think nice anybody pants. could pull off leather in this office, really. Well, I always wish I could pull off a leather jacket. Nick, I think you could. I feel like Nick would definitely wear a leather jacket. Let Nick could. Roan might be able Roan to. Yeah, Roan. Maybe fights. Fights definitely can. Fights definitely There's could. something just cool about I'm a leather jacket. talking a leather jacket or like a full leather outfit? Leather no, jacket. Leather jacket. Okay. Leather jackets are a lot easier to pull off than like leather pants. I don't think I have no, I don't like think I have the ability. Could. Yeah. I no. couldn't do a leather jacket. Not no. even close. No. no. You get you, you're too big. <laughs> no, we're too big. You you put it you guys like us, we put on leather, you look like a cow. That's too much you're right. It's just too much leather. You need to be under under like six one. And you gotta be like a little bit skinny. I like wearing like, mugsies. Yeah, I do too. What I'm wearing them right now. What about a nice leather trench coat? We'll let him do the ad. We well, should do a trench coat. I don't week. think. Th- do they make trench coats? You can do the trench coat read, and then I'll do the Muggsies. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't have a trench coat read. Uh, Muggsies <laughs> are the most comfortable <laughs> gym men's jeans on the planet, built with a proprietary stretch denim. These jeans look stylish, but feel like you're wearing sweats. For a limited time only, it's 25% off for early Black Friday shoppers. You do not want to miss this. Do your legs a favor and head over to MuggsyJeans.com. Pick up a pair of the most comfortable jeans you've ever worn. 
MugsyJeans.com for 25% off your entire order. Why do you cut the bottom of your jeans? Oh, this was something new I was trying instead of uh, cuffing them. How do you like it? It's all right. They were a little lopsided, though. Um, huh. And I cut them too short. I have a question. <laughs> as you can see, <laughs> they did. it's taller than this. I'm wearing sock. Muggsy right now. I love Muggsy. Oh, um, I'm standing up. At the end. I, don't know. No, I have a question for the youngins here. Mm-hmm. It's me, mm-hmm. Assassin Owen. Can you guys explain to me, uh, like, what? Okay, so I saw the tragedy in Houston. Terrible. Travis Scott. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What is he like? Was is he incite riot type of guy? Yeah. Yeah. God. So he has police reports back to like 2015 at concerts of just trying riots. to incite, incite riot. Yeah. So this was kind of a not if, just when for him. Yeah. So he finally Jeez. achieved it. Right. Jeez. Well, it's also, just... in his defense, people, like, broke down the bear. Like, it was well, way over defend- capacity. Let's not defend him yet. Well, like, no, it, was, you're, there, you're it wasn't his to fault. Travis Scott, but not Dave Portman. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it, right. it wasn't his fault. There was, like, a thousand people more than they were supposed so to be So bad there. security, but yeah, also... Yeah, but there was, like, pretty disturbing videos of him, like, singing, singing while making, like, eye contact with bodies being... Jesus Christ. And also, there's videos of, like, the security guards not doing their job whatsoever. Or, like, cameramen just worried about getting the shot ahead of other shit. Yeah, I saw that. I don't really think that is a thing either. Like, the camera dude, where the people walked up and they were, like, telling him, like, what the fuck is it? Like, imagine if, like, that camera dude is probably, like, it's probably a freelance gig that he got. Like, he's not going to be like, yo, Travis, end the show. No, I know it's not that, but it's, like... But people were, like, trying to, like... The human reaction would be, like, oh... Maybe I could just look that way, see if anything's yeah, going yeah. on. They're just, like, pushing people away, just, like, keep filming. Yeah, it was weird. I mean, eight people dying is a, is a lot. It's not, like, one person. Yeah. that's Like, that one person died Kendall at the... Kendall Jenner's okay? Yeah, that, Dude, was, that crazy. was crazy. Insane. Quick delete, but it's still at, like, 6,000 quote tweets. Yeah. I mean, that's just, like, New York Post type, like, uh... Journalism. Yeah, like but they, they deleted say it offensive so fast. shit, yeah. or like not offensive shit, but like. I was going through the against, Instagrams against from it, like the location, and like just so out of touch. All the captions were like, "Everyone's crazy. That was his best show ever." Like what? as Travis fans, like we want to rage. We are raging. Like all this what? shit. What? Like, Jesus oof. Christ! Yeah. Fifteen people died at the Boy Died and Anus show. <laughs> yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah. Did you guys inside a riot? Oh, yeah. Were there a lot of people who double dipped? What do you mean? That you went to the second show? Yeah. Uh, I don't think so. Anyone. Donnie did. Donnie did. And I think Vin Dog might have, too. Oh, Vin Dog was oh, there? Vin Dog was there. there. Nice Vin guy. Dog. His, yeah, his, his son like that he was with, too? Guy. Yeah, I think his son and daughter, maybe. Yeah. Or Vin Dog's son the best. Have you met him in person? Uh, maybe not. Yeah, I don't think he, I don't I think thought no, I he's been here. Because he was a weird hire. He was... During quarantine? During quarantine. Yeah, I, I don't think he's I been here. Did, but I guess I haven't. That's so... It's weird when you have those relationships and you're like, yeah, of course I've met... Oh, yeah. We need I to get Vin yeah, yeah. to the city one Have time. you ever met, like, Castellani? Yes, twice. Well, oh, yeah. He was in Michigan. Yes, because he's, oh, been okay. at, he's been at two game days, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. And he's come to the office twice. Yeah, he was here so, for a week. thanks for ignoring him, Owen. Yeah. Wow. All good? <laughs> he, he was yeah. here a while. <laughs> he was here a long <laughs> time. He actually was sitting in your seat. <laughs> No, I'm not even joking. He was sits sitting sits right in the week. <laughs> yeah. Molinaro it is sets true, up yeah. three desktops. <laughs> Damn. What's up? Squeezing you out? Nah. The big squeeze out? Nah. Bosco's first day full time, right? It's today? Yeah, he just low key said that on the show on Pick Central. He's like, okay, I'm full time now. So he's just here every day. Got here at 9 30. He's leaving at 2 full time. I, I don't like I don't like him now. I know. He's going <laughs> to get older, you guys, quick. No, he's going to be fine. But it still is like. It was like a fling that now we're we're getting married. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. You're gonna start noticing things about him you never noticed Sober before. Sober sex, yeah, it's gonna be tough. We'll get through it. We'll figure out a way to make it work. Well, you can always you can always go back to part time. Yeah, they can just get the full time salary, just make him part time. Yeah, yeah, just have him show up. Right. Yeah, just let us make fun of him for not showing up. And we have others of those. So yeah. Oh. What? Go ahead. All right, no. Go ahead. No, we'll I'm do a draft. Good. Go ahead. I'm a draft. Well, yeah, what? we'll draft. We're not Here's drafting. You keeping people's time cards? Sometimes. Sometimes you got to. By the way, how's the Destroyer doing in the World Series of Poker? I got I duped fine. again by Nate. Yeah. Uh, this is the fourth or fifth year in a row where I've uh, put money in, invested money in Nate. And he told <laughs> me he was going to uh, 
win it all, and then he didn't. He didn't make it to the end of the first day. No. That's, Owen, why are you play playing? That, can we play that Smitty video? Um, yeah, play I don't know. Video. I would have loved to go on. Um, Owen, next year I want to stake you. <laughs> that would be awesome. Okay. Will you win? I am better than... Will you at least give him a day? Are you better than Nate, Smitty, and the D- Destroyer? I'm better than Nate and Smitty, I'd say. Okay, so I want I would like to stake you next. I'm better than Mint. The problem is I'm stuck in the spot. Seventy fifth in the world once. Yeah, but that was the old him. Yeah. I, it's game day, but more ways than one. 2021 World Series of Poker main event. We're doing what we have to do to survive, and survive we will. Not only that, we got victory for the people. Once again, dealers in the white section, this is the time we've been informed have you guys seen this? That yeah. you may need. Win. Players, we ask you to please not be in the tournament area at this time. <laughs> <laughs> Woman on the last figure. Watch his point. Watch his point. Now. Now. We're asking you to please not be in the tournament area at this time. It's not ready. Oh, and I want to. I want to compete next year in it. Yeah, play. I mean, I'm, I would be bad. Can you just go? Why don't I just train you for like two weeks? No, nah, I don't want to do that. I'll just go just with go. you. We'll, I'll pay for both of us and we'll compete. Is it a, right, if, yeah, if you have ten thousand dollars, you can get in? Yeah, is, it is. Like you don't have to There's have no any any no. just ten thousand dollars. Yeah. So worst case scenario, you lose ten thousand dollars, or can you lose more? No, you can only lose that. And how much can you win? Like ten million. Yeah, Damn. infinite. I would have, and I've staked Nate, so now I'm stuck because. I started staking Nate like four or five years ago, and it's like a lottery pool at the office. Like the day I don't, he's gonna win. Yeah. No, you can't keep staking Nate. I have to. There How was, are you gonna keep Brandon, staking there Nate? There was a time before you, you came just, where Nate was like in the chip lead, right? He was in the top ten. He, right. he basically quit barstools. It was the best day ever. It was so funny. I know. One of the greatest content days ever. Nate was in like the chip lead. And he like called up and was like, "Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you!" Like thought he had. That didn't really happen. It was. He didn't really do that, did he? Pre- uh, kind of. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, pretty close. He didn't actually say "fuck you" to people, but he was like, "I'm gonna keep the money," and like it was awesome. And oh, then he what lost. was he not? Was he not gonna keep? Was he gonna give the money to you? No, I think Dave also staked him, or maybe Barstool had staked him yeah. that year. I can't remember yeah. exactly. And Dave was like, "Well, no, if we paid the money, like you don't get to keep it." And it was just a very, very. Fu- and then like he busted like two hours later. <laughs> but. Uh, <laughs> I, I still That's believe in Nate Dog. I still believe in Nate Dog. I will stake him next year. Nate it should, just uh, was very disappointing because he kept on saying how prepared he was. And then he's like, he texted me. He was like, busted. I mean, we got $30,000 worth of players out there. I know. Wait, Owen, can you give some context to the hand he busted on? Yeah, can you give aware? us the video? I never even watched the video of Nate. Uh, yeah, I didn't see it either. So yeah. give us the video and tell us, Owen, what exactly happened. Would you have busted already, Owen? Probably. Because I talked to Mincy this morning. <laughs> Fuck. No. I talked to Mincy this Mince morning, and Nate lot. was like Mince doing pretty well until this hand in which. So is Mince still kind of in? So Mince and, Mince and uh, Smitty are both in it, and I believe above what they started with on day so one. So yeah, Nate just shoved everything in on a, on a bad hand. Yes. Here's what happened is. I love the. the I, I came back from dinner Seriously. with 39K. You start with 60. It's like Travis Scott talking about I played about great concert. for three hours. I chipped up to 60K, up to 65K from 39. I was feeling it. I was in the zone. I was finally playing, you know, my A game. And I fucked up. Strategically I placed the up. camera to his forehead. Mm-hmm. I imploded. That's every video he does. I fucked up. I tried to hit a grand slam. And I struck out. It was unnecessary. I shouldn't have done it. <laughs> Did he wrong somebody? <laughs> I know, right? Did he kill if it someone? Were, <laughs> it would have been awesome. I mean, I had a pair and a flush draw. Oh, okay. Hard to make a pair. Hard to get four of one suit. You need five. So you don't like pull out a gun. This is awkward. This video. is awkward as hell. Yeah. <laughs> it's the main event. It's the best tournament of the year. It's incredible. I. I he should send. He should have sent this over to. I guess I, 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 I cut out the dead, sp- <laughs> dead um, air. Shouldn't do that in the main. What I did. It's just unnecessary. I don't like. Wait, what do you do? All this is the video people right, want so to see from Dave. He's he talking three, about this like four. it's an apology video. Well, yeah. he is. He's apologizing to me. He took twenty twenty five hundred dollars of my money. So, <laughs> Nate and Smitty play like opposite styles. What's explain their styles? So Smitty's very tight. He'll just sit there and like fold most of the day, wait for his spots. So he doesn't make as many big splashes like he, like being chip leader, for. 
the first day or he's low and Nate slow did. then yeah whereas Nate's whole thing he tries to be uh super aggro aggressive and just put people in spots where oh they're gonna fold because it's the World Series of Poker but then I guess so he tried to put to someone him. in a, a spot and he got he got put in the spot yeah god damn it Nate. I thought we talked about this. You were and supposed then, to win it all. So he had. That's the talk you had? Yeah, I was like, dude, are you going to win it all? He's like, yep. What a talk. The poker terminal. I mean, he had three, four suited. Right. Yeah, which is like a fun <laughs> hand if you're playing deep in a cash game, but I wouldn't be playing that at the World Series of Poker, probably. Me either. How cool would it be if, like, Mincy won? That would be unreal. <laughs> <laughs> I love these all. Um, yeah, that'd be sick. Um, I was just worried that they were yeah, going to be like, what does he say? I'm going to show you something. 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 I think it's tough because also they want to like do well for Barstool and stuff, so they probably overplay or it would be easy to. Huh. What else is happening? I don't know. That's a new security guy out there. Yeah, it is. He's mm. younger than the others. I don't like new security guys. <coughs> Well, because you never know if he's working from the inside. Right. Did he d- incapacitate one of the real security guards and he's just waiting to jump on us? He could be a business insider guy. Yeah. Oh, I don't shit. know. Hey, look how many forehead lines he has. Are we doing background checks on these guys? Uh oh. Uh oh. See, this is Uh-oh. not good. Oh, no. Oh, he's not a fan. Are we confident of this? I'm right. not. I'm not confident. Blue eyes, though. Again. Yeah. All right. He's Sus- confused. <laughs> oh, he's <laughs> not Suspiciously, that was too easy to break that security guy. Yeah, way too easy. But look how easy that <laughs> not was. Not tough enough. Not tough. Uh-oh. He's about to come oh, no. shoot us. Oh, no. oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh, no. It was oh, Owen's decision. Keep following him. He does <laughs> give off. Stay like on him. A, <laughs> stay on him. <laughs> he does give off like a vibe. His, like a, I think his gun's poking out. <laughs> he doesn't have a gun. I wouldn't be surprised if he had like a four-leaf clover tattoo on the back of his neck. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or he's like the second lowest on the totem pole in his mob. And he mm. just rips on that one guy bun- below him. Mm-hmm. Irish flag on his uh, on his bicep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't even realize he's still getting video. <laughs> is that? What oh, is that's that? a gun. That's a gun. That's oh, that's not a gun. gun. I think it's a taser. It's oh, got to be a taser. That is tucked oh. into his pants. All right, get off. Sasko, grab that. Sasko, grab that. <laughs> that is legitimately a weapon. Maybe. I think it's probably a taser. Who has taser, a taser, taser tucked into the back of their pants like that? Well, that's definitely not a gun because they would not have a gun tucked into your pants like that. Yeah. Have you ever seen every movie ever? Yeah. <laughs> that's a taser. I'm happy he has a taser. Come to Barstool. Get Imagine having tased. a gun in the back of your pants. Like no. You how, how would I'd you be so sit? nervous? You're just a loaded gun in your, in your ass? Yeah. I'd be very nervous. I would definitely be more of a front guy. Yeah? No, you'd much rather have it. I'd be back. one of those, like, and then spinning around and stop. Right I would have, face. like, be the... Duck uh, Holiday? Yeah. I would have, like, the leather straps. Yeah. Like, right. like old like detective. Like a detective. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The old yeah. guy doesn't leave the office, but he's still got the straps. Yeah. I like, I like that guy. I'd probably have a piece on the... Oh, a small yeah. one? Yeah. And then one, yeah, underneath both armpits. And then I would have the, I would You'd be have, sassy as hell. I would have the too. toe knife. You'd have the toe knife? That's pretty sick. The Joker has that. I'd have a shotgun uh, on my back strapped yeah. around so I just <laughs> blow you up. Did you see that video that a bunch of people tagged you and I in about an Asian guy with a sword in Oregon? In a traffic confrontation, you didn't see this. Why no, <laughs> I get a. Why did the pair of you get tagged in that? I think it was just bringing it to Big Cat's attention, but it was a guy who looked Shea. like me. When was this? When was this? In the past twenty-four hours, somebody I've tried been tagged in it almost a dozen times. Somebody tried to bluff to him and he went crazy. Tough to keep up with. A lot of people mad at me for well, God knows what. What'd you do? I said something mean about everyone's favorite team. Oh. <laughs> Is that a sword or a broken? Beat his ass! Oh. Yeah, he got you fucked up, bro. Get him. Oh, what are you finna get? Oh, oh, shit. Oh, uh oh. Oh, oh shit. Oh, no. Oh, no. Is that a damn. gun? Oh. Is that a gun? See, this is why you can't. Is that a broken car antenna? Why were you tagged? Just because the guy was Asian? <laughs> looks nothing like you. That's kind of fucked. <laughs> so the white guy looks more like you than the Asian yeah, guy. Yeah, like Beat what? This has nothing to do with you, Steven. Yeah, he got you fucked up, bro. I don't know, but the white guy waited till he walked off before he got all hard about the- 
I mean, what's he going to do? The other guy's got a sword to his face. Is that Joey Janela? This is why you can't get into these type of disputes, though, because just one guy's got a gun and you're just, that's it. Mm-hmm. See ya. Ruined your day. I'm gonna meet Month, that. year. Who is that? It's a wrestler. How many? Go ask him. Just I'll tell you later. It. Go do it. No, I just, I've already closed the door. What was that? Earthquake? I don't know what that was. Sass is in his his phone. It was uh. He's deep in his phone. It was the what's it called? What is a realistic animal you think you could kill with your bare hands in the wild? Oh, dude. Classic. Not many. Bald eagle, yes. You couldn't kill a bald eagle. You could not kill a bald eagle. Shh. I'm answering. Bear, maybe. Fox, yes. Owl, yes. Buck, yes. Next question. Four of those five would kill you. How would you no. kill a buck with your bare hands? Strangle? Just fucking strangle it, yeah. yeah. Jump on its back and strangle its ass. You couldn't kill any animals. Uh, I could kill you <coughs> Maybe a right squirrel. Now. I could kill you right now. Good luck. None of you could kill a squirrel with your bare hands. You're not going to catch him. You you have to catch the animal first. He's not going to be handed to you. Saying a bear. The only thing, you're 50 50 on the bear. Thing I could bear, bear could maybe fuck me a up. A bald eagle would kill you guy, almost bald immediately. Eagle, I, would, I would just punch a bald eagle out of the sky. A bear would literally rip you into multiple different pieces. A fox pieces. would fuck you up. A f- I would stop the Was that you that had that? Face. Who had that dumbass tweet about the foxes? Foxes are very underrated and they're very fun to see in Have the Have you wild. never seen a fox in Which real life? Which was the dumbass tweet? I, what are you talking about? That's what I'm saying. It's a thrill to see them in the wild. You were like, oh, if I could see any animal in person, it would be a fox. That's not what I said at all. Just Something's, go outside, brother. That's stupid. That's also, not what I said at all. Who's coming up to you and saying, all right, you could see any animal you want? The, the, Bra- Brandon, you guys are misrepresenting Brandon, the list. Brandon meets the fucking genie from Aladdin. What was this? <laughs> like, like, what's your first wish? wish? You guys are, like a fox. <laughs> you guys are misrepresenting <laughs> the list. My list was the top five animals that are, are fun to see in in the wild. Not that I would want to see, that are fun to see. And it's a thrill to see a bald eagle in the wild. Oh, it's these th- are all the ones that... Oh, so I could beat up all your animals. You can't beat up a buck or a bear. Three wishes, first wish. Show me a Unlimited buck. foxes. How would a buck beat me? It has horns. Okay. It would stab you. Brandon, and I would simply this? step to the side. Where is this tweet, Brandon? It's in. My, I, oh, I haven't tweeted much this weekend, so it's it's there. Kind of went silent after the old numbies tweet it's the, the other one, day. It's the one right above Dave Portnoy has always been truthful to me. That's actually quite... Look, you could kill that animal? Yep. That animal, first of all, weighs more than you. It's I'll faster than you. would fuck you up. I'll tell you what to do. You walk right up to it. You kind of give it like a... You said a fox is an underrated animal. They look so cool. Probably my favorite animal to see in the wild. One of them, yeah. And then, I, and then I came up with the list. You walk up to that fucker right there... And you say, hey, Have buddy. you ever seen a moose? Hey, I buddy. think I would. I have it. Right a, in the nose. I can't create an experience. I've never seen a moose. I bet it would be awesome, though. They're huge. Much cooler than a fox. I haven't seen it. Sans. Foxes are like smaller than like dogs. They're like they're like a little bit bigger than house. Cats. I know, but the fact that they live out there and then just these five, they got the tails, the bushy tails. It's Wouldn't you rather see like a wolf? Did you see the fox at the uh, USC snow game? Leopard? So that's what started this. I was watching uh, the USC game. No, you weren't. Why was saw it? my tweet. Where does where does Fat Squirrel rank? It's fat it's Fat Squirrel season. I think we're right up against the anniversary. Shit, did I miss the anniversary? Oh no, oh, no. fuck, we're right up against it. It was I think it's I November fifteenth. I think that I couldn't beat up a bald eagle. How he, are you going to beat up a bald eagle? He flies by, punch its ass. Have now you it's ever on seen the ground. Its talons? Now I step on it. Have you ever seen it? Can I see a bald eagle's talons? Its claws? Bald eagles are very large birds. Huge. I'd step on it. It would stab you immediately. No one. How would you step on it? It's flying. I would punch it out of the you air. You don't have that vertical leap. What are you talking about? It, it would be trying to attack me. So when it gets close, I punch it. Look at that. You're I killing that animal? It. You're killing that animal. Yeah, that doesn't actually look that scary. Kick to the midsection, stone cold stunner. I really yep. don't think it looks that scary either. Mm-hmm. I think most people could kill a bald eagle if they got Any of you it. in here would shit yourself if that animal came near you. You're All three to of be, you. You seem pr- to be projecting there, pussy. I would throw <laughs> a ball of Play-Doh in the air, and it would snatch it, yep. and its talons would be stuck. Yep. Oh, yeah, and then I'd punch idea. it in between the eyes. I would get a... I would get a That's would, actually not a bad I'd plan. I'd kill a mouse, and then I would put the, a string on the mouse, mm-hmm. and then it would go try to steal the mouse, and I would fucking grab the string as hard as I could, and he and his fucking... He and then I'd kill a out. fox for fun. Yeah. <laughs> I throw a fox. I would kill a fox and throw it at the bald eagle's face. <laughs> People kill foxes all the time. Dude, foxes are so easy to kill. Foxes are literally they the pussies of the woods. Yeah, foxes are awesome. 
foxes are like, like never figure it out. Are you a cat or a dog, <laughs> fox? Yeah. Are they a cat a or a dog? I love a good fox. Are they a cat I can't or a imagine dog? being a dog. Like, if I could the worst see any of both animal. worlds. A fox yeah. is a dog. I think it's a cat. It's not a cat, it's a dog. No, it's I a disagree. Cat. It's a no, cat. it's so much more of a cat. A it's fox such is a, a cat. fucking dog. Have you no. ever seen a fox in real life? I don't think you've seen Many a fox. times. I've they're tiny and they're skittish. They're not they're tiny. Bushy tails. They're like smaller. They're literally tiny. They're smaller, oh, but they're not Brandon, tiny. Brandon's thinking of chipmunks. Oh, Man, you are you thinking about chipmunks. Foxes are skittish. There's my fat squirrel. What day was that? Oh, November 15th. Okay, all right. Coming up on a year. There he is, fat squirrel. You, you don't know. Explain what a fox looks like. A fox is it, it's red or silver. Some sometimes a, a snow fox can be white. Okay, uh, are you already small, wrong? Small. It's small. It's, it's orange. It's slender. Yeah, it's not it's red. Slender. It's, it's, it's literally orange. called a red fox. It's orange. That's the name of the the. the look, that's Peter a red, red fox. That's an orange fox. That's it's named a red fox. But it's orange. Can we look up like a, a fox to a dog compare size comparison? Yeah, give me a fox to a dog. A fox, fox is not dog. a huge animal, but they're fox just cool animals. Dog. Look how cool they look. Let's see this. Our, they're literally. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You would get. That's oh, a German it's Shepherd. A cat. German it's a Shepherds cat. aren't like that big. Though. There it is. Look, it's more cat than dog. Did you say German Shepherds aren't that big? They are They're big. not. They're like a normal sized dog. They're not, dude, what are you talking about? German Shepherd's not a normal sized dog. Great yes, games. it is. Look at that. It's a cat. <laughs> Foxes are cat. You want to see. A tabby cat in the wild is what you're asking. Wild for. cats are awesome too. The fact they can live out there and just be be on their own. There, there's a lot of wild feral cats in this world. I would like to see a bear. I want to see a grizzly. I've seen a bear in the wild. Have you? No. No, you couldn't handle. Do you have it, that same you? energy when it comes to wild humans. How many wild humans exist? Plenty. Thousands of homeless. Plenty. I don't think they're wild. <laughs> Where do they live? <laughs> I uh animals that I don't want to see mountain lion number one on the list okay so by the time you see a mountain lion he's already killed you. oh yeah mm-hmm. they say that if by the time that you see a mountain lion they've already <laughs> seen you for like two hours beforehand what is that true they've been stalking they you? stalk you when we were when I was hiking in Wyoming I carried a big rock with me what yeah, was that gonna do that's what they said anything. they said that's the only thing you can do to defend yourself from a mountain throw lion. it at him yeah your arm sucks I actually have a great arm. You do? Yeah, Prove it. Grown. Prove it. I can throw righty and yeah, lefty. Yeah, but even if you throw Tight it, spiral. if you throw it, the, the rock's gone now. If you miss, you're fucked. Well, I was thinking I would use it as like a weapon and then throw it. To yeah, the actually, that would probably kill it. I agree with you. But they're so fast. and sc- Have you ever heard them scream? Maybe you're faster. No. I think so. I think they can jump like 45 feet. So can you. You guys disrespect animals. You, 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 they, he's not faster than any any animal. Faster than you. Yeah. I'm not an animal. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah are. you are. I'm not 100% sure you're faster than me either. Oh, I'm definitely faster than you. You don't realize that like the best part about these hypothetical animal fight debates is you can just say you could beat the fuck out of all of them because you'll never have to <laughs> it's, prove yeah. it. Like, it's the best thing that you can do. Name an animal, I'll fuck it up. Elephant, yeah. I'd fuck it up. Sydney, Mike Tyson. <laughs> you'd <Sydney>. fuck it up. <laughs> Sydney Wells, the outdoors person. He's not only in Mississippi. She's doing she's doing stuff, content right now in my hometown. Okay, it's weird to me. Why? I don't know. She just like she texted me last night. And she says, uh, "I'm I went to Mississippi what to do hunting go? content. Oh, hunting. Yeah, and she's just in my hometown of eight thousand people. Love it. Has Wait, everyone is, been you asking her, her about you? Yeah, I I would think so. That's are you gonna hook I, her up? She's probably swamped. You hook her up? With two what? brothers. That's in Starkville. Fuck. What strip mall did you recommend? Oh, 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 that's funny coming from a guy from New Jersey. <laughs> First of all, <laughs> I told her to get a burger. You're at like Stafford's. your strip malls are just bigger. <laughs> yeah, and, but probably nicer, I would think. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, that hurt, didn't it? I didn't like it. Yeah, I know you didn't like it. I got your back, bro. No, you, you don't. I just said. I okay, literally, fine. You're right. You did have my. My back. response was. You had my back. Thank you. I Jesus appreciate that. Jesus Christ, Brandon is just the sass and the fox thing. Is sass is being so faster I, than you. He's faster than you. Well, you like you 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 basically said like I I just hope one day I can see a Shiba Shiba Inu live. <laughs> I would love to see a That'd fox awesome. one day. But those are like I, that's not what I said. Foxes I s- are such an underrated animal. Foxes. I'd love to see one. More. I didn't um, say I'd love to see one. I said I like when I see one. I've seen it's like it's like the old fa- it's the old debate like 
if you could have dinner with four people dead or alive, Brand's like, okay, so <laughs> silver fox, <laughs> an orange fox, mm-hmm. uh, the, yeah, like the, the equivalent the of Mozilla Brandon fox? was like if yeah. Brandon said one of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah yes. <laughs> yes. Have you ever seen a bald eagle when, you, when you're yes. out hiking? Oh, yeah. That's awesome. I've killed four bald eagles in my life. That's not awesome? Not impressed. Then why do you go hiking? I'm not impressed by the eagle. Yeah. Um, I've killed four of them. I've seen cooler things when I'm hiking, like a moose. Or a wild cow. Uh, you saw a You've wild seen a cow. I've seen a wild cow at the top of a mountain. Well, that cow wasn't wild. How many bald it eagles was. have you killed? Brandon, what do you think Six. wild means? Six. So we got ten on this show. Have you killed any? Yeah. How many? Seven. He was hiking in, in land owned by somebody yeah, that had cow. That's where he was hiking. <laughs> Damn, we're good. I get. Uh, I was in when I was in Wyoming. There would just be horses, and there'd be like hundreds of horses just all running together. Wild but horses, like national parks, drag you is away. That considered the wild. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Definitely. Like Yellowstone. Yeah. I don't mm-hmm. think you saw a cow. Brandon, I I literally did. It's a cow. A cow. <laughs> yes. Are you thinking of a bison? No, was it was a cow. We were walking, and they said, "There's two moose up there, and then there's a cow." That's so much cooler than a fox. Yes. Who said that? At the top of the he mountain. He said it was cooler than the bald eagle. Fellow hikers. Uh, that disagree. sounds like a scripted simulation. And then simulation. I looked down and the girl had a gun in her pants. Probably a taser. And you said, hey. Yeah, probably. And then you clicked your heels so yeah. that your knife came out. <laughs> 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 Don't start nothing. It we'll is scary there. when you're hiking and everyone that you see has like a massive can of bear spray or a gun. They could just kill you. And we just had like... And one of my friends was in flip flops. <laughs> we couldn't have been less prepared. We, we had, had half we all a brought, We all brought one d- water bottle. In a chewy bar. And these people had like the straight up like the tube that goes in from the backpack. What is bear spray? I don't understand what you're gonna tell me. Why, it is, you, is. why is your face all red? All of a sudden? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> He's upset that we clowned on him about the fox. Is it bear? Is it spray that like it's gonna hurt the bear when it hits him? Is it's it like it's like the same thing as like smell? it's like pepper spray, but it, it goes like thirty feet, I think. Okay. Damn. I don't think it, I, I can't imagine it. It probably has worked like once ever. Um, I think it's just as embarrassing for those people though that you saw that were like fully prepared. No, they were like scared. I've been hiking with my family, and th- you're like tired, and then you see like a little kid in flip flops sprinting oh, up the yeah. mountain. Mm-hmm. What's that? Bear spray. Is it? Okay. All right, red pepper oil. Okay, so it's pepper spray. Yeah, I I, I think being more prepared is probably smarter because it, w- it was like no service the entire time and it was like a seven miles both way hike. Mm-hmm. So if one of us were like to break our leg or something, we would have just they would have just died. Yeah, just don't break the leg though. Yeah, would have been easy. <coughs> hmm. huh. 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 Who would survive the longest and the shortest on their own in the wild? I would survive the longest. Big Cat, Brandon, me, Sass, in that order. Mm-hmm. No, I would be. Fine. He I would, would not be survive longer. Than I would be. Yeah, you don't think so? No. You would be petting foxes while I eat them <laughs> for dinner. <laughs> I, I fox would, kebab. I would make an alliance with the foxes. I'd have fox gyro. I'm well trained in the wil- in the wilderness. Same. I'm a Boy Scout. I know Eagle knots. Scout, actually. I know all the knots. Yep, same. Well, are we in the wilderness now? Or are we name name five boat? knots. Nautical. Traditional. <laughs> Traditional knot. Shoelace knot. Suicide. Suicide knot. Noose. Brandon, you're familiar. Uh, bunny ears. <laughs> Bun- <laughs> bunny ears. <laughs> bunny ears. Isn't that That's the four? shoelace? Yeah. That's four. All right. Well, he already named that. Windsor. Windsor. The Windsor knot has to be my favorite knot. That is mm-hmm. by far my favorite knot. Uh, double Windsor. Double Windsor. Yeah, double. Don't even get me started about a triple Windsor. So it looks the like impossible. we just proved you You've wrong, tried. Brandon. <laughs> no, I asked. I didn't say he could or couldn't. I just asked. Brandon, not so one knots. of those knots exists. Ah, suicide knot. Proving your proving your knot. Proving your knot. A Windsor knot exists. Worse than mine. A Windsor knot exists. So you think. I think I might hate you. <laughs> I'm gonna bring a fox in tomorrow on a leash and like yeah, yeah. It's I mean it's very easy to get one. Kill it in front of you. Yeah, they're the easiest animal to procure. (laughs) (laughs) It's easier to get a fox than it is to adopt a dog. (laughs) 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 You just go out into any wooded area, and you like put a little piece of cheese on the ground, and they'll come up and eat it. Boom, fox cheese. You ever seen Fantastic Mr. Fox? I have not. You You haven't. Fox catcher. No. It's about wrestling. KB would love to talk about You've really that. never seen Fantastic Mr. Fox? It's I've great. Is really never Matt seen Damon? No, that's... Uh, that's Mr. Ripley. Yeah. No, it's uh, a Wes Anderson movie. It's animated. Oh, how is the new Wes Anderson movie? Oh, it's okay. I 
heard Nick, it wasn't Nick great. said it was the worst thing he's ever seen. I'm yeah. so like I mean it's just like I the modern Wes it's like Anderson. modern like like Jeff D. Lowe and them probably love it because they're like film dudes. I it's can't like do one it of those anymore. movies where there's no, just no didn't. plot. They didn't like it either. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I love I mean Royal Tenenbaums is one of my favorite movies. Rushmore was great. Uh if you want to get really cool about it and say bottle rocket, sure. Ooh. But like once we got to what? Life Aquatic? No. Started to kind of go the other way where it's like, all right, we've, we we saw this already. I just you just don't. like things being perfectly organized in colors. Mm. I just like movies that have like a beginning, middle, and end. Right. Your simple yeah. brain. Not where it's just like. So you a, just don't get it. Do you I get guess it? not. Yeah, you didn't get it. I mean, it's the same thing with, like, mid-90s and, like, all those movies, like... You just don't get there's it. There's just no plot. Yeah, it's, like, slice oh, of I life. Oh, I liked mid-90s. I mean, yeah, like, it's a it's a good watching it once ever. Would never watch it again. Nothing happens. <sighs> Maybe because you didn't live it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> was that very similar to your... Skateboarding, yeah. That, that was skateboarding in California. <laughs> Single mom. <laughs> Film people suck. Yeah, they... Well... Yeah, you're just bashing Ken Jack and Jeff D. Lowe. No, because they don't. Because like they they have good taste in movies. But well, you're saying they're not film people. I don't know. You've put yourself in a corner here. Find yourself no, out. He means like people you went to school with. Film people. It's just like oh, it's the worst. It's any anyone who is thinks that like their objective taste is better than everyone else's. Or sorry. Subjective taste, just like craft beer people. Craft beer, mm-hmm. music. Steak like, I'm, I'm pretty simple. Yeah. I either enjoy the movie or I don't enjoy it. Yeah, it's the ball scale. I yeah. put it on the ball system. Yeah, it's one ball or none. Like I watched Moneyball last night. If like <laughs> that was, uh, it's well, a good movie. That was a ball. It was a good movie. We'll if someone else ball. watched that, they would be like, fantastic cinematography, but the uh, the sound, o- the audio quality kind of fell off towards the end of the film. So I'm gonna bring this one down to a six point three. Like they just they like critique the the smallest tiniest things about movies that no one gives a fuck about. You just graded on pass fail. Yes. Mm-hmm. Good, really good, bad. Mm-hmm. Bad, really good. Bad, good, really good. And then The Departed is a different level. Fantastic. It's the only fantastic one for you. Um, what's your favorite comedy movie? I don't know. I mean, I probably just super bad. There's really no, I don't think there's like too many like really dumb and dumber movies. Airplane. Airplane sucks ass. What is the You've best never comedy seen movie? I have seen it. The, it first, the first time I saw it. So good. What about Bob? <laughs> the rest kind of sucked. <laughs> you should. Have you ever seen What About Bob? It's great. No. Watch it. No, there's some good. No, comedies. watch it. No, yeah. No, watch some... it. <laughs> if you don't watch it, <laughs> The Hangover was funny. Your excuse from the show for the I rest watched of the week. night before yesterday too. I like that movie a lot. You, you really like think Airplane sucks? No, it's fine. Oh. What about Bob is Timeless? Yeah. Bill Murray. Like, have there been any, like, good recent comedies? Not in the uh, last... Trainwreck? No, that, was, that was six <laughs> years ago, right? Seven years ago? Um, um, I mean, it's hard to put out a good comedy in this PC culture. That oh, we're yeah. <laughs> they're canceling all of us, bro. <laughs> that one with Jonah Hill's sister was good. I forget what it was called. Um... Jonah Hill's sister. Wow, misogynistic much. Mm-hmm. She's got a name. Yep. Sorry. You identify her Beanie that Beanie Feldstein. Got it. Uh, Jonah Hill's sister's better. Yeah, it sounds Beanie? way better. <laughs> what was the most recent good uh, comedy? Bridesmaids? Yeah, Bridesmaids was good. I thought the male characters were the funniest part of Bridesmaids. I didn't like the Irish guy. Uh, Booksmart, it was called. Booksmart? I, I didn't see Booksmart. Good. Story about me. Like, I don't remember the last time I saw a comedy in theaters. That was well, probably we, the last one. I mean, there's Tag also two theaters might have been the last have not one. been... Uh, Jojo Rabbit. That was funny. Oh, yeah. I never saw it. Oh, man. <sighs> you have terrible taste in movies. Can't believe that. All right. You got anything else? I got to get to a fucking flight. Have a good flight. Who's, have a who's good going? You, Jerry, and Chicago guys? Me, Jerry. Uh, Parcel Chicago's meeting us there. I'm bringing Chuck as well. Oh, nice. And uh, I think Rudy's coming to film. Should be good. I'm just tired. I'm just yeah. really, really tired. But I'm gonna have fun. I'm gonna fucking have fun. Okay. Maybe have a couple beers. You have a beer? Yeah, I have a couple beers. Tailgate. How many beers? I probably have four beers. Mm. Damn. Four. Two. All all pregame or interspersed throughout the maybe game? Maybe go three and one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Maybe five. Oh, brother, you're gonna have six. Brandon, when's the last time you drank? He he would pass out. And I don't know. 
Um, it's been a while. Last time I was drunk was uh, 2007. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon, was the time you smoked a J? Um, March. 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 With Mar- Roan? Mm-hmm. Oh, was that uh, Coach Doug's stream? No, that was before that. Uh, March, March was the March Madness stream, the Moron Madness. Oh, right. And right, right. Uh, I thought I was talking the whole time. I never said a word. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. And, uh, it was right before we actually gave this up. This year's March Madness is going to be ridiculous. I saw something yeah. that they yeah. were looking at. That m- yeah, my my idea that is coming to fruition. That was you? House? Yeah, we're going to do like a real world. Mm-hmm. With all the gambling content, <laughs> where we all live in a house for a week and in, in gamble on March Madness, that should be, be something. Yeah. yeah, it's gonna be fun. All okay. right, okay, good show, boys. I saw the house. Good show. Jesus, yeah, nice, yeah. good show. Um, is Roan back tomorrow? Yes, he will. Be. Yeah, he's back tonight. So we won't have Nick and Kyle the rest of the week. No, I think they'll be back for Friday's episode. Okay. Friday. We won't be here Friday. Who, was that you me and too? who? Yeah. Why am I going? Film oh. a music video for at the bank. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure that's Friday. Is that the 15th? Oh yeah, we'll be out Friday doing that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Brandon and I will be there. We have to go somewhere in New Jersey. Might just be me and Owen. Me and Owen show. It's been that's long overdue. Yeah. Let's do a sports episode. We'll talk college football. Oh, gross. <laughs> Try to do that on Pick Central. <laughs> Slog of an hour or something. How's that thing going? Oh, it's going great. Going great. Rico's full time now. So he's Is he gonna be on five days? He's here five days a week for Pick Central. That's awesome. I no longer have my Tuesday and Thursday reprieve. You guys gotta get Hank on. Give his dogs. We talked about Hank's pick today. Yeah. Incredible. It's great. Dogs yeah. or foxes? I like You're not gonna shame me for liking foxes. It's a good animal. Mary fuck kill cat, dog, fox. I love them all. Let's give it to us. I would say I'd fuck a fox. Okay. I'm not killing any of them. I love the cats. And the show on that. I'd fuck a fox. You'd fuck okay. a fox. And right, the show. Yeah. Who, who who wouldn't fuck a fox? It's the